So you may have heard the saying before, children are like sponges, constantly taking in everything around them. Well, that's why one early education center is working to address all the needs of their students, setting the stage for future success. That's their goal. Let's find out more about it. CBS 21's Maxine Rose is live with us now at the York Day Early Learning Center to tell us what they're trying to do. Maxine. Center says 80% of their kiddos here come from at-risk families, making it hard for them to get the resources they need to, to thrive and to remain in the classroom. Luckily, this program giving the attention to the students who need it the most. Thoughts go, let it go, let your balloon go. Sometimes those big feelings create explosions that create unsafe situations in the classroom. Keeping some kids as young as the age of three out of school completely. He will throw chairs in the classroom, he will flip tables, he will try and flee and leave the classroom, which is not a safe situation for him or the people around him. According to one childhood development expert, preschoolers are expelled at a rate three and a half times that of K through 12 students nationwide. Plus, data from 2021 shows that half of the 17,000 preschool students who were suspended or expelled were young black boys. I want them all to come to school feeling loved, cared for, no matter, you know, their ethnicity, their race, their gender. But the staffing shortage putting those young minority students at an even greater disadvantage and oftentimes setting the scene for potential issues in the future. We don't want any child feeling singled out. People are different, um, and my daughter is fully aware of that. The dynamic here um, will help her throughout, you know, when she develops and grows. A recent $20,000 grant from a local nonprofit doubling the classroom ratio. We had only three teachers a few weeks ago, and just having that fourth teacher allows us to meet those needs faster. The grant also funding positive behavior intervention support training, increasing teacher retention and implementing more tools inside the classroom. The real goal when they leave us isn't necessarily academic success, but social emotional success. Giving the kids a second chance so they can be successful, not just with their student in this program, but in the public school system and higher education and that families can thrive and grow.